Good morning. It is Sunday morning, April 7th, I think. I got no clue what time it is. It's not, it's before 10 a.m. though. Nine something? I don't know. Let's go see. 9.21 a.m. and I have laundry to do, dishes to do. We've got more people coming over today. We're moving stuff around in the garage today. Uh, my dad's bringing Bob some um, hand-me-down tools. And we're going to be getting rid of a couple things and doing some purging, I think. I think I have to do the dishes, start the laundry, and move my car. It pro probably pretty much in that order. Anyway. Um, so I'll film what I can when I can. And I think the kids are coming over to help because I think they're going to... We're going to need Polyus's muscles to get the table saw out of my dad's car. So anyway, I'll be back. everybody it's Monday morning April 8th I believe I believe let's see April yep April 8th looking at the calendar and the stove says it's 7 18 a.m. Oh, all the devices are always within a minute of each other but two of them say 7 18 one says 7 14 I don't know 7 something a.m. I was Sitting, catching up on some YouTube, having some coffee, and the TV came on by itself again. So I think I figured out that it's doing some kind of updates. Um, maybe with a direct TV. I don't know. But that's what I'd like to think it's doing, but it's very weird. It does it periodically. My husband's seen it. I've seen it. It's not just me like seeing things so I don't I don't know I just turned it off it's very odd he's sending me text messages I don't know I'm gonna need I need more coffee for this and then I need to get dressed because we have people coming over this morning to give more estimates on painting the outside of the house and getting some work done around the outside of the house and then I have to go to the grocery store and try to get some art in or something yeah, so I'll okay. do that. So it's 8.44 a.m. I decided to go out and run my few errands before the contractors come to give estimates today. And I just came to Safeway, um, which is down the street from the house. It's maybe five minutes if you hit all the lights red, um, which is a short drive for Portland. <laughs> um, uh, it is a damp, foggy, cloudy brisk Portland morning and I love it I know I'm crazy I'm awake completely aware trust me I'm out with damp hair I do have a sweatshirt on but you know the only reason I have tennis shoes on is because I didn't really want to splash around in the mud puddles in my flip-flops I thought that would be a little too much so you know we needed a few groceries. I wanted to pick up a couple of Sunday papers to get some coupons. I know it's Monday, but here in the Portland area, they leave the Sunday papers out until like Wednesday. I'm good with that. So um, I was able to get a couple papers so I can get some coupons and um, some other few little groceries that we needed. So I'm gonna go home and unpack, clip coupons, fill up my binder. I'll show you guys this is my coupon binder I'll show you um, after we get home and um, I'm going to check my um, Ibotta app for anything that I bought today um, to see if I can get money back that way I might only get like 10 cents just for going to Safeway which you do get sometimes but that's 10 cents I didn't have before so I'm good at that yes I'm a coupon coupon clipper have been for a long time built up my craft stash and my watercolor paint stash by going into the store with a coupon if they had one and getting one tube at a time. L literally, that's how I got my golden paints. I went to Michael's with my 40% off and got one tube. And then would go back the next week with another 40% off and get another tube. That's how I cut my paint, you know? So anyway, 
All right, let's go home now and I might need a third cup of coffee before the contractors get here. Oh. All right, I'll be back. Okay, while we're waiting for the contractors to come, I'll share with you my coupon binder. So this is a B6 size um, binder, little folio thing. Um, I got this from Amazon. It comes in clear and then this iridescent color. And um, also the little zipper pockets. Some of these are from Amazon, some of them are from Wish. I'll link the Amazon um, link in the description below because I think it's actually a little bit better deal. I have a bunch of them in here and I have them labeled for different stores that I go to. And then for, you know, store dedicated coupons, one that I can only use at Safeway. And then I um, have different categories. I have plenty of extras in the back because I had some from Wish already and the Amazon listing comes with 12. You can just get the Amazon one and that's plenty to do if you're gonna do something like this. And um, I just cut a bunch of coupons out from those papers I just bought, so I'm gonna put those away. Um, also too, with some of the stores, you know they have their online electronic coupons which are connected to your rewards card. So I try to always remember to do that every week before I go to the store, double check my list, um, and then I print a copy of it and put it in here so that I know when I go to the store what actually coupons I put on the card. Um, I try not to buy things just because they're, they're on special, but if it happens to be something I know we use frequently, I'm gonna add it to the rewards card and clip a coupon. So anyway, that's just what I do to save a little money here and there where I can. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, April 9th. It is 9.15 a.m. according to one of the clocks. Don't get all excited. I looked at the calendar. <laughs> um, I am getting ready to go upstairs for a day of art, uninterrupted, hopefully. And um, first though, I need to feed Bambi. So I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna go upstairs and try to get some YouTube videos filmed. I wanna make some more paper today uh, a few different ways and I have to catch up on the eyeball journal. I still haven't done that yet and I'm so far behind. I might need to bring it back downstairs because having it upstairs is just not working for me. So that's a thing. All right, that's it for the moment, I'll be back. Wednesday, not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. April something. 10th, maybe? I don't know, honestly, and I haven't looked at the calendar yet today. So I was gonna get online and Zoom uh, with my friends, but I'm still in my pajamas. I hadn't edited the vlog yet. It's really hard to listen to the video speak while your friends are chatting in the background, I don't really wanna to listen to myself talk anyway, so I'd rather just get it over with. Anyway, I left the Zoom chat for a little bit. I got the vlog edited. It's saving and rendering right now. I'll get it loaded in just a minute. I know I'm late again, two weeks in a row. But in the meantime, while that's doing that, I'm gonna go take a shower quick and put some clothes, actual clothes on. A bra would be probably good. Or at least a t-shirt with a shelf. Something, I'll be good back. Good morning, it is Thursday morning, April 11th. What time is it? 7.51 a.m. Don't get all excited. Hello, in front of the computer. So I'm trying to get my morning typing done a little earlier than I normally do because I need to go out and run some errands and I'd like to kind of get it done early. I do have a couple videos I'd like to film today. Um, and I'm going to be spending time some time this weekend in between 
um, doing some things with my husband that he needs to do and wants me to come with him to do. Uh, rearranging the kitchen and maybe doing a little more purging. Um, when we moved in, we just we just unpacked and put it like every, you know wherever. We've been here a few months now. It's time to like set the kitchen up proper. So some things are in the right place and some things aren't. Um, and some things that are unpacked and in the kitchen, like the wedding china, that don't really need to be. Um, we're not going to be using them enough, even though we're having family over more. So um, they can be packed away in a box and in the laundry room closet. And then things that are in the laundry room can be in the kitchen. So, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my next project. <laughs> <sighs> always something right all right so that's it for the moment I need to get my typing done so I can get my errands done I also have to feed Bambi before I leave yeah busy 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 as always I'll be back good morning it's 8 38 I'm sorry 8 39 and as you can see I, I took a shower so I'm gonna go head out now and run my errands um, I think I'm going to just try going to Target. I need some uh, more bins and a couple of boxes. I know that's shocking because I do have an organizational bin hoard thing. I always have. I moved it with me, most of it. I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, that being said, I don't have that many of the Why Weave baskets from Target that I like to use in the art room. I use them in other places in the house too, so I don't have that many left. I've used most of them in the art room, so I need to get a few more so that I can use them in the kitchen, and I'm starting to formulate ideas in my head about how I want the kitchen to look and be to be more organized and more useful. I also need to get a couple of those metal racks that you put the pot lids in. Um, that'd be helpful too. So, and I, I need a few groceries. I think I can get everything at Target, so we're going to give it a shot. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So I did get everything I needed at Target. I was right. You know, they've got a little bit of produce and groceries. They've got the whole home goods thing. So I think I'm ready to turn right on to Southwest West Hall Boulevard. Thank you, Jeeves. <laughs> We're going to stop really quick at McCann's on the way home and check the P.O. box. It's actually been a couple weeks since I checked it, I think. At least a week, that I know for sure. So um, we're going to do that. It's around the corner from the house. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get home, and I'll be back. So glad I stopped by. I have mail from Kelly Dobrinsky. So I don't know what it is, but thanks, Kelly. <laughs> um, I'll open it when I get home. Um... Yeah, cool. All right, so let's go home and let's <coughs> get started on the kitchen. It's a big job, but it's driving me crazy. So anyway, all right, let's get going. I didn't vlog any of that, but holy cow, now I'm tired. So I took some of our barware, which was in a cabinet that was kind of down low, and my husband, uh, for those that don't know, has a severe rheumatoid arthritis of the spine. So anyway, bad back. Um, so it was hard for him to get the glasses out of the cabinet they were in before. So I emptied the polyus snack cabinet <laughs> um, and I put a decent selection of barware in there. Yes, we have more. No, he doesn't want me to get rid of any. It's a long story. Let's just not discuss it, okay? Um, I put the snacks down here, we have these two pull-out shelves down here that, honestly, um, if you put anything too heavy on them, they they don't do well. But now we have a snack drawer. Um, that'll confuse Polly is really <laughs> when he comes over next. Um, then I took these drawers. The teacups were here. Now it's baking utensils. I had everything crammed into those two little drawers, and now we just have things spread out. And there were a couple things like... Um, when I want to make cheese or butter, yes, I do occasionally make homemade. Um, these were in a box in the laundry room, so I got them out there in the drawer where they should be. I have, these drawers are a little bit more heavy duty, so I have some of my 
uh, bakeware that was in those other slide out drawers where the snacks are over here. This is gonna do a little better, I think. And then in the bottom drawer, I have small electric appliances. So I think that's gonna work out much better. I also was able to pull out some of my KitchenAid attachments and they're in the corner cabinet. Um, all of the sort of um, baking accessories, big ones, like the hand mixer and the bag of muffin liners and that, is in the, that sort of thing is in the cabinet over the microwave. All of the plastic ware is in the cabinet over the refrigerator still. Um, I got rid of a few drinking glasses and water bottles because, you know, we're only two people. How many do we need? I did find my little plastic tea brewing thing from, from yeah, the tea shop, which I had. I bought it a while ago. I haven't used it. So we're going to see how it works with brewing a cold brew. So I've got a tea bag steeping in there right now. And I found a few things to get rid of, but not too much. I do still have the useless knife drawer that the husband is gonna, at some point, fix for me. And I'll be able to pull even some more stuff out of the laundry room when we get this upper cabinet fixed. I need a shelf up there. And once we get the shelf up there, I can get some other things that I probably use kind of frequently that should be here in the kitchen somewhere and not so that I have to dig them out of the laundry room. Uh, <laughs> in the kitchen, um, but um, the uh, specialty china and teacups are in a box packed with bubble wrap in the laundry room, never fear, um, so they're there if we need them, and uh, yeah, I think that'll work out well. Now I need to take a break and eat some lunch, I think. I'll be back. Morning. It is Friday morning, April 12th. I almost said March, and I'm in front of the computer. I still got it wrong. Um, it's just before 9 a.m., and I just came upstairs to boot up said computer, do my morning social media work, and I probably should sort laundry today, you know. And I got a few non-camera projects sitting on the table, so I might work on one of them. The main project for today, though, is video editing, because my little SD card's got five or six videos on it. I've lost track now, to be honest. And I know at least one of them needs a voiceover, so that's a thing. I'll be back. It's late Friday evening. I don't know. What is it? What time is it, dear? Seven uh, something? Seven something. Or nearly seven something. Seven oh one. Seven oh one. And, it. you know, I think we're so used to where we were living, it being pretty dark by now. I don't know. We didn't get these beautiful s views of the uh, spring sky. This is off of our back porch. I just thought you might like to see. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, April 13th, I think. I, I don't have any idea what time it is. It's about 11.35, 11.45. There you go, 11.35. Um, I added some more new merchandise to the Teespring, um, uh, the Teespring merch shop, um, whose link should be in below um, if it, it doesn't automatically go there I'll make sure to add it and um, there's some leggings and things like that so that's cool we're headed out to go run some errands the first thing we need to do is go pay our taxes so we're gonna take care of that 
Taxes. Taxes. Goddamn taxes. <laughs> taxes. <laughs> so we're going to go t take care of that and run a few errands and get some lunch at Jersey Mike's. We'll be back. End the vlog. You end the vlog. You end your vlog. Uh, I will end my vlog. Excuse me, wife. Er. <laughs> We've done like nothing today. <laughs> we, yeah, we didn't really do anything. We, didn't, we, we ran a few errands, started laundry. I piddled around upstairs, but I didn't really do much of anything. No. Um, we're just having a lazy day. And although nobody shoot me when I say this, don't get angry, but I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan, I know. Like, probably the only one on the planet. Um, anyway. Are you allowed to say that? I, probably not. <laughs> um, anyway, they've been airing it. Um, of course, you know, all the prior seasons back to back on TV. They're doing a season a night. Uh, yeah, so we I, I don't really have anything else to do, and, you know, I could be doing other things, but it's on, so I guess I'll watch it. Still not a fan, but, you know, Jon Snow's cute, uh, you know. <laughs> well, he is. <laughs> what is it, Kit, Kit Harrington? Kit Harrington. Yeah, you know. Anyway, so that's all that we've been doing. It's been an interesting week. Um, we have one more estimate on painting the house on Monday, and then we're going to make a decision. There's a lot of uh, kind of semi-big things coming up. Bob's got a work trip coming up, and so, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's been fun, and if you want to like, share, and subscribe, that would be great. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you get notifications of new videos when they come out. Support the free content here on YouTube uh, by... Clicking on the Linktree link, um, there you will find my uh, Etsy shop, the Amazon store, uh, where to buy my book, Patreon, and I'm going to be adding Teespring to that um, now that I'm thinking of it. I'll add it before you all see this. Um, and I'm going to be putting lots of um, artwork on leggings over in Teespring, which is really fun. Um, and I ordered myself a pair, so anyway. Um, so support the free content if you can. If you want to just follow me on social media, the links are in Linktree also for that. Um, the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.